space station freedom could not have been completed with a $2.1 billion cap. We were asked to redesign. We stepped up. The conditions are difficult. NASA is committed to the future. America cannot just get its solace by watching TV. Our children, by the time they graduate from college, will watch 22,000 hours of TV from a Carnegie study I recently read, twice the time they'll be in school. We get inspired by the Super Bowl, but there's more to life than Super Bowl and TV. And America has to decide where they are. This is not an issue for NASA. We'll do what we have to do. We've committed to a budget. We've committed to a schedule. We have a new way of doing business, and I'm very proud of it. If this isn't a frightening thought for you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> me in the chair, boy, I'll tell you. Let me come back to uh, a, a couple of uh, the questions on the costs, which, which really disturbed me. And again, Mr. Golden, I have the deepest respect for you. And when you get uh, hot and passionate with me or any member of Congress about some of your feelings, uh, I certainly, as long as it's com coming on a passionate level and uh, you and I are exchanging that passion and there's nothing personal in it, uh, uh, I don't have any problem with that at all. Um, we might even get back into that again here, but uh, I certainly don't hard, uh, hold any grudges, and I certainly respect uh, the tough job uh, that you're faced with with all the, the budgetary questions we have here. The 1993 September preliminary estimate for the space station was about $15 billion. Is that correct? I want to be very clear about this. The Russians are one of the major spacefaring nations in space. We are not helping them. We are working with them as well, partners. When we, when we help them with gas and oil, uh, we are helping them get that precious resource out of the ground, but we're also helping ourselves. And certainly that's what we would be doing in space, is helping them and, and helping ourselves. But uh, I think that uh, this kind of cost and, and this kind of risk, given their situation and our situation, could be done in very different fashion. And uh, that we've got huge budget constraints and very big problems within NASA that we need to address. And I will leave it for, for that to, to talk to you more next week. And I, again, appreciate uh, close to uh, three and a half hours or four hours of everybody's time at NASA. Mr. Chairman.